uh, this video is for FM341 and it will walk you through how to develop a silhouette sketch using Adobe Illustrator and working f with an image from the internet. So if the first thing you would do, uh, what I've done here is I've gone to thegap.com. I'm going to start with a very simple v-neck women's t-shirt uh, to use Illustrator to sketch. And essentially what I did here was um, you may be able to right click and save the image. I find it's usually easier if you just do a screenshot of that particular image and save it to your desktop. Okay. Then in Illustrator, let's create a new file. And I'll call this uh, T-shirt practice. And we want to have it eight and a half by eleven inches in the portrait orientation. You want your color mode to be in red, green, blue. I'm going to leave the rest of it as is. Hit create. Okay, so here's my workspace. And I'm going to go to view and show rulers. And I'm going to go to view, show grid, just so I have the graph paper. So right now, visible, I have my main toolbox on the left hand side. What I do want to see uh, is the window for layers. So I'm going to come up to the top and go to window down to layers. So in order to bring in my photo that I have from the uh, Gap website of the v-neck t-shirt, on layer one I'm going to go to file place. The shortcut for that is shift command and the letter P key. And I'm going to go to my desktop, and I'll select the Gap V-neck T-shirt image that I saved, and place it on the page. And you can, with the selection tool, grab an edge uh, corner. If you hold down the Shift key, it will conform the proportion, and you can increase or decrease the size. So I'm going to make it fill pretty much the full layout of the workspace. Up on the layers window, you have an eyeball on the left hand side that toggles visibility. And you can see layer one has a little picture of this photograph that I've just placed. Just to the right of the toggle visibility eyeball, I'm going to left click on that box and it's going to lock this layer because I'm going to create a second layer that I will actually put the sketch on. Uh, if you were creating a silhouette sketch to go into a tech pack for product development, normally the factory is more interested in the sketch less interested in your inspiration photo, especially if you've made changes. So ultimately, I'm going to delete this layer uh, when I'm using the sketch into a tech pack. Um, and that way, I'll, that's the reason why I create a second layer to separate them. So to create the second layer, I'll left click on this little pull down menu and go to new layer and I'm going to call this my sketch layer. And click OK. So I'm going to end this right now and um, the next video I will do will be how to use the pen tool to actually create the sketch.